Doping in tennis, like in many other sports, is a serious concern. The use of performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs, can provide athletes with an unfair advantage by improving stamina, strength, or recovery. Tennis has a comprehensive anti-doping program overseen by the International Tennis Federation, ITF, in conjunction with the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA. Here are some big names who were banned for doping in tennis. Number 5. Victor Troike In 2013, Victor Troike refused to partake in a mandatory blood test carried out by the ITF. Troike stated he did not agree to the blood test as he was sick when the test was ordered by the ITF, however, he did provide the mandatory urine sample. The ITF handed down an 18-month ban due to the failure to comply with the organization's anti-doping regulations. Troiki appealed the sentence to the Court of Arbitration for Sport in October 2013 and was successful in having his ban reduced by six months from 18 to a total 12-month ban. Number 4. Martina Hingis In 2007, Martina Hingis tested positive to the drug benzoylegonine, a substance that has traces to cocaine. ITF gave Hingis a two-year suspension from professional tennis that began on 1st of October 2007 in conjunction with forfeiture of her world ranking and a fine exceeding $120,000. Hingis challenged the ruling, however, this was refused by the ITF as she had already announced a retirement from the sport. Hingis later returned to tennis in 2013 and attained the world number one ranking on the WTA women's doubles circuit. Number 3. Andre Agassi In 1997, Andre Agassi returned a positive drug test for the use of methamphetamine. A joint investigation carried out by the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, and ATP handed down a three-month suspension from professional tennis for the incident. However, the punishment was not formally handed down after Agassi blamed the positive result on a spiked drink. Number 2. Simona Halep Former World Number 1 Simona Halep was suspended from playing tennis after testing positive for a banned substance. In October 2022, she was notified by Itya that she tested positive for Roxadustat, an anti-anemia drug that stimulates the production of red blood cells at the U.S. Open in September. She is provisionally suspended pending a hearing where she hoped to prove her innocence. She says she has evidence that she was contaminated by a supplement that contained Roxadustat. Halep has stated her intention to appeal the decision at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Before we move to the number one spot, here are some other mentions. Marine Silic, Richard Gasquet, Guilherme Coria. Number one, Maria Sharapova. In 2016, Maria Sharapova confessed to failing a WADA drug test while playing at the Australian Open. The substance used was a drug named meldonium, which is used to treat heart disease with its effects on blood circulation through the transfer of fatty acids into the human body. Sharapova maintained there was no wrongdoing on her behalf, having admitted to using the prescription-based drug for over 10 years due to her susceptibility to influenza, treatment for symptoms of diabetes and magnesium deficiency. A report handed down by the ITF and WADA found that while Sharapova may not have been consciously using the substance to increase performance, it is the responsibility of the player and team to be aware of new additions to the banned substance list. Following an investigation by the Court of Arbitration for Sport in October 2016, Sharapova's ban was reduced from two years to 15 months after it was found there was no intention to cheat and no significant fault on her behalf.